Hello Internet, very sweaty Hewlett here for you with another Burn and Learn and I've leapt directly off the uh, torture device today because I'm in a big hurry because I've got to get my wife to an immigration exam. But before I tell you about that, let me tell you that this is a Burn and Learn and a Burn and Learn is my bit to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and enjoy the twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife Jane. I hate exercise, it's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it and I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible, so that's what I'm doing here. And uh, immigration. Yes, my wife is about to take her immigration exam. She's been cramming over the weekend to become a good Canadian. I can't answer a single question that she's got, um, which is shameful because I am Canadian, have been Canadian since I was like seven years old. So um, I'm no help to her at all, but I will be there for moral support. And I feel that that's really all I can do, my duty as a husband. Um, so we're gonna race off to there. So I won't talk for long, but I will tell you that my learn today was more robot report. The robot report, um, the 2018 sort of, you know, view of robotics, uh, fantastic. Fantastic read. It's free. Go to their site. Check it out. It's 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 amazing. So I was halfway through it um, at the end of my last burn and learn. I meant to get to it this weekend, but of course it's a weekend and there's a child involved and there's lots of fun things to do, like organize the space. Mm -hmm. It's very organized. There's little there's like labels and everything. I should show you. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh, very organized. And even over here, there's labels. Yeah, I went a little crazy with the uh, a little crazy with the um, uh, marker. But anyways, point being, um, a weekend was busy, so I got back to it now. And boy, it's just it's really interesting how you know they're trying to make these collaborative robots. But the problem with collaborative robots is you don't want them to be so rigid and fixed that they will punch holes in people that they're working with. So they try to make them a little bit more um, well collaborative and less dangerous. But in doing so, they're not as precise. So they're just sort of they've sort of fallen between the cracks between industrial robotics and 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 sort of more. A small business use type things. Um, there obviously there's a number of companies having problems sort of bridging that gap and, and making convincing people to do that. So there's a number of them going out of business and just some interesting perspectives on that. Also just the issues, like the difficulty of making a robot do what you want. Like to make a robot arm do what you want to do, it, it's very difficult because you can have one algorithm that tells you where you want it to go, but another has to figure out how to turn those into various different movements. And um, and then also the vision systems, how to, how to tell that, show that robot what you want to pick up and how it can figure that stuff out on its own. So it's working with AI stuff, deep learning stuff. Um, there's a really interesting new, um, was it six degrees of freedom camera where they're using just an RGB camera to, um, uh, it's NVIDIA actually that's doing it, um, to, to come up with a system that will help robotic arms figure out what things are and pick them up without having to teach them each separate item, which is basically what they're doing right now. They're basically saying, this is what you pick up, this is how you pick it up, but if there's any, you know, if it gets more complicated than that, it, it becomes much more complicated for the robot to deal with and for the people who are programming it. So just really interesting stuff. The other one that I really like was they're talking about, you know, new software that makes this stuff easier for people to use and they're using augmented reality so that in a way you're sort of seeing the workspace like the robot and then teaching it by just doing it, by picking stuff up and saying, okay, I want that to go there. And you know, you use this AR interface to do that. So um, just a, it really is a great read. I would, I would advise you to go and have a look at it. It's totally like free. Just go to the website on the sidebar. There's a little, there's a little link to it. And uh, it's a nice little sort of magazine like scrolling thing for you. And uh, God, I'm just like sweating in my eyes here. Uh, I told you, sweaty learning. Um, so I better go get showered because uh, this is not the way to go and visit immigration um, and uh, get Jane to, uh, well, to officially become a part of Canada. Well, actually that doesn't happen today. She just passes or fails the test. I think she's gonna pass. Generally, I get the sense from Jane that she's pretty good at tests, but I could be wrong. Anyways, so until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come, cheerio!